All right, there we are back. Oh, what is this here? Um, double mist, double mist with a twist. Am I doing this punning thing right? <laughs> I think you got the gist. <laughs> Imagine playing mist like this with a VR headset, where the new mist is in the left eye and the old one in the right eye. It'll break your brain. Yes, it definitely would, and I don't really want to do that. Oh, uh, give me a second. I just plugged, unplugged the capture device in the hope that it might cool off or whatever and maybe show the right colors for a while again. So I need to plug that back in. Seems like capture device doesn't capture right now. Ah, and now we see the flight. Okay, that's a pity. Wait, let's see, maybe... Maybe this helps. Ah. Nope. No capture devicing. we can just fiddle with the properties a little bit. For example, by deactivating and activating. No, now we just see nothing. That's even better. Huh. Okay, so I guess this much about our two up playthrough. Huh. Okay, you're going to lurk. Have a fun lurk. I'll just do another fiddle. And then, before I give up, at least... Not fair, and it was such a good idea. device is refusing to capture so I guess you'll just have to take my commentary or maybe huh I could probably try let me just try the lo-fi solution which is uh, first let's unplug that Sorry about, I keep hitting the mouse by accident. All right, so let's put that on the laptop. And 
let's see if we can take one of my webcams and point it at it. Luckily that's all Velcro. see how far we get um, now of course I need to switch to the other webcam oh and remove the filter that crops everything I mean it shows a few pixels at least. The question is, how do I get this far enough away? Huh. I'd need some sort of stand to put the webcam on. I'm scared I'll accidentally click something now. All right. Huh, I guess this might work. We might have a few issues with the audio as a consequence because I can't play the audio for you anymore. But I think this is a compromise we might be able to live with. Now let's just make it a little larger. All right, not perfect, not how we started with, but better than nothing. Um, now I just, yeah, that sort of works as long as it doesn't go to sleep. All right, back to the proper game then. And that's kind of the difference you didn't uh, see here. Um, when I, on the old um, game, when I clicked, uh, so, so the, the picture, of course, didn't show anything. Um, and when I clicked on it, um, then there was this fly-through movie of where we would arrive. Whereas here, it's the reverse. The fly-through movie is just in tiny in the book. And then we immediately end up here. So VR people don't get seasick by being flown around. Uh, and of course, you see they, they made this thing where the book lies or something made it more... Um, made it more um, steampunky and gave it these nice old style light bulbs um, and by the way um, this thing where I went here and then we still had this weird half open gate uh, uh, gear and the same spot that was when I first played um, when I first played uh, Myst um, I thought that uh, maybe we're time traveling, that maybe all of this is the same island. And um, we're just in different times or something. So uh, 
I still uh, one day hope that I will get to play that game uh, that has the these uh, these things uh, that, that has this idea that you think you're traveling between different places and in the end you turn out being in a different one. We can already see a slight difference uh, once we've stepped back from where the book placed us and apparently where, you know, usually the book back could be expected, I would assume. Um, uh, there was this machine with buttons and that's sitting here next to the stairs instead. I guess um, that was probably also a... Uh... Oh no, actually it's about... Yeah, I, I guess what they did was they put it here so that you wouldn't see, you know, they wouldn't have to animate this rotating. Because remember in this uh, book, uh, where was the photo album? Here it says, like, here is a gear. So that makes it kind of look... Um, what was it here? Yeah. Power of the fortress. So there is apparently some way to rotate it or so. It looks like it's positioned to rotate. And you see there's a walkway over there into nothing. Which probably means, yeah. that this bridge can be somehow moved over there. Um, also, if you look at, um, in general, like here, this seems to be all, uh, this is a really bad, let me just move the microphone a little, so that maybe while I'm talking over and looking at the old game, it doesn't sound as bad. <laughs> Um, oh, and now we've switched, let's switch back here, so you see the big, the actual gorgeous new game, um, and, uh, as you can see, like, it's all basically just gravel with the gears lying on it, but here they've used these, this is actually a... a a natural rock found uh, formation that you can find this these six cornered rock poles that kind of grow from the, some deposit i don't remember how it exactly works just remember hearing about these weird rock compositions so that's a cool way of uh, you know like making it look real yet strange um which I kind of like. Um, and here that seems to be much more... Oh, God. Yeah, uh, this texture is definitely a big improvement um, than this riveted steel that they have here. This looks very cartoony. And then the walls in here are basically this. This is a floor texture. You usually don't have that on walls. This texture is used so you don't slip with your boots. So yeah, but it, it's also interesting. It looks... They've removed some plates. That's fascinating. And if we go down that corridor here, it's just these plain plates in the old game. Oh, 
Ah, nice music. Well, if you try walking on the walls, you definitely don't want to slip. That's a good point. Especially since they called it Ages. Yeah, that was also... That's true, that's also a... a an aspect of it that I kind of... Um... Yeah. Um, that probably led me to thinking maybe we're time traveling here and not just location traveling. Um, the Giant's Causeway is one of the places that has basalt columns that are hexagonal like that. Okay, yeah, yeah. There's like places in the real world. And this looks, um, I mean, it's basically the same room. They've moved a few things around, like this bird is apparently on the left now. Aww. I didn't me remember it actually making a sound. This... I don't know. Um... I guess... Story spoiler? For those of you who haven't played the game yet, maybe... Listen away for a moment, but um... Um, I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be Cirrus. Um... And they kept the painting the same as in the old version. As you can see, they just touched it up a little bit. And, um, of course, he looks, looks nothing like the CGI character now. I don't know who that is. Apparently that painting was here as well. Oh, or maybe are these supposed to be... Well, unless those are supposed to be the locals, but I don't think so. Oh, there's a button. Oh, okay, secret room. I've totally forgotten about that. It's nice that there's a model, is that here as well? Yeah, a model of the of the ship. That's the same ship model that we saw on Mist Island, I think. And actually, you know, it looks basically like the... Um, like the original ship, not like the ship in the harbor. Like, the ship in the harbor used to look the same as this model. And I guess that's supposed to be the clock tower on Mist. Oh, floating crystals. That glow. All right, and the rocket is the same one as on Mist Island as well. So yeah, I would guess this is supposed to be, you know, toys taken along from Mist Island or so. And uh, yeah, that bird just, it goes click, 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 click. It doesn't do, hoo hoo. Um, interesting. Here's the throne. Ah, the throne looks a little different. Or does it? No. Actually, I just didn't notice that it was... I guess it's just everything darker again. And Yeah, I mean, there's some sim simpler shapes and things. And, oh, the chess set sits on the floor, apparently. Ah, huh, but that isn't... The switch. All right. 
right. How do we... Trigger this then. I don't remember. Huh. So they changed the way <coughs> they changed the way the puzzle works. Let's see how these look. Yeah, I guess they just glow, which, you know, is a start. Ah. I don't actually know how to find this room in the old version. Interesting. Cyrus, your greed sickens me. Your desire for wealth and plunder is never satisfied. I will instruct my subjects not to pay your new tax, and you know they listen to me. Regards, Akinar. Oh, and this is an interesting... These symbols are in Riven. These are numbers. Oh, there's a lot of gold in here, apparently. And there's a red page that we've apparently now pocketed. All right. So, now I'll have to figure out how to find this door. Um, I kind of expected one of those bulbs to be the button, but that just seems to be kicking me out again. Huh. I don't think I wanna um let's see um You think it's just hard to see? Yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm trying to find the the spot, but uh, it's a it's really not easy to see here. I don't know if there are. Any switches? It switches back wherever I push. And this one just switches out. So it's not the same spot. Um, so... And the solution is only about the immediate solution that I've found here. So that's not helpful. Uh, let's see, mechanical, um, OK, 
Okay, it says to look at the walls. Ah! <laughs> the first thing I tap at when it says look at the walls opens a door. Okay. So that's it. Okay. That looks very different. I mean, if you look at it, it's really surprisingly um, different. Let's turn here. I mean, like it's like it's simpler wooden crates and things like that ah and the red page is with the gold i i think it was somewhere on another table wasn't it in the original uh, okay there's a lot of wine here i don't oh yeah okay there is wine racks here I think the general arrangement is just slightly different. And it's hard to see whether the coins... So the table is not... Not here. That stuff is all on the floor. And I don't see the letter, interestingly. So that's a bit... The, they're giving away the story much earlier. You saw remembered it. Maybe you need more contrast. Yeah, I mean, it could be that it's just... You know, because I'm doing this here with the... Webcam pointed at the iPad and things. So maybe I'm just at a bad... Bad angle. Um, but yeah, if you look... If you go back to the entrance, this is basically the same point of view. But it doesn't look as if they're as if the note is here. Okay, then let's go back out there again. I guess again they've changed the entrance because it has to be something that's interactable high up and that's walkable. Um, oh, also one interesting detail that I've heard mentioned about um, Um, about this, uh, about VR, um, is that, of course, um, if you have, like, a chin height window in a VR game, you can't do that. Because, um, and, and as long as you expect the player to be able to look out there, you know, and it's not just, you know, to bring in light or something. Because um, what uh, a, uh, y you know, what in VR is different is that it's the actual height of the player that affects what they can see and what they can't see. So if there's someone that's, you know, five foot tall or even less, they will not be able to see above a window at chin height for a six-foot person. All right. So let's continue. Ah, what's this? So let's walk down here. That's actually a surprisingly similar button. It's just... I guess in mist because you had so few pixels and so little lighting the button glows in the original not sure that that uh, you have a bit of a bad angle and some reflected light there as well um, but that's a red glowing button oh okay we found the stairs ah and that seems I guess that's a closed door up there. Um, hello? 
Ah, now it works. Okay. Let's have a peek around here. Yeah, okay. So that's kind of closed and locked. And so... Oh, invisible wall until it's, it's folded down. That's interesting. That's, you know, it's the easy way to do it. But I would have loved if they had just gone, okay, let's let's give people the stairs. All right. Whoops. Yeah, we've got a door. Okay. Oops. So let's go back and do that in the old version as well. And go down there. Interesting that the button looks different. Like it's not glowy, there's a symbol or something and the lever looks different. And it's flashing red uh, once it hits, has the opening instead of uh, like here where it's just permanently red. But again, that's probably just a kind of, you know, simpler system at the time. Hello, I clicked this button. Ah, I guess you have to push and hold it a little bit. All right, here is the elevator. I wonder what this button does. Fat load of nothing. Maybe that's the elevator call button if it isn't there. All right. Different colors as well. And again, tiny window through which you see the elevator go up. Okay. Okay, that doesn't work. I was kind of thinking if maybe I can see something. Oh, what's this button do? Oh, okay. I guess that's to bring back the stairs if you're too far away. Ah. Only the top one is lit up right now. And upstairs, I think, all the both of them. So that means that middle one doesn't work right now. Can we? Yeah, it's a timer. I think I remembered that a little. And it does the same in the old version, yes. Okay. Okay. Okay, no idea. And again, it's all more level for the VR people, of course. Oh, and here it actually doesn't trigger immediately. Ah, okay, that brings it back, so that's this button. Okay, that makes sense. The 
question is what did that do? Is that how you rotate the building? We shall see. Let's go back. Yeah, okay. So we've rotated it, oh, a bit too far, apparently. Huh. That's a bit annoying. I wonder if there's any way to see where you've rotated it, because it's hard for me right now to... All right, I think we have to go downstairs first. Um, it's hard for me to see uh, Okay, noise outside. Um, it's hard for me to see where I've actually rotated anything. Oh, and I think I've moved the webcam a bit by accident. Let's do it like this. All right, let's see where we've ended up in the old... Oh, I actually had better aim. Yeah, okay. So since I did it shorter... Aha, uh -huh. that looks like a clue. Let's see, oh, screenshot is down here now. All right, um, so let's go back then. And rotate some more until we figured it out. And listen for, my guess is there's some sound or something that indicates. That sound sounds much more warning-like than the previous one did. Okay, so... We need both levers, apparently. So let's see if we're now back at the start or where we are now. Do, 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 do. But this is so much less annoying to have to run through here. Yeah, okay, we're back at the start where we arrived. Okay, so I have to do it as shortly as I did a moment ago. Dang it. Come on. <sighs> Luckily this has face ID and I don't have to um, type in my password on webcam. That didn't. 
Ah, with the holes. I guess these holes mean like if one hole moves over, it's a quarter turn, right? And don't ask me why I have this song in my head, but luckily it's a classical song, and I'm singing it myself, so I should be safe from... Oh, okay. This is much more concrete built now. That's a bit of a pity... that these are so uh... you don't go to sleep yet okay and so now we go back I mean you know it was annoying to to walk up all these winding things even with the with the click mechanics and things so I know I understand that uh, they wanted to change that you know like here how many taps do you have to do to get through these uh, wait wrong turn I'm tapping through the old version right now. All right. And here. I like the sound in the new version better, though the old version kind of does a beep, 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 and this one does this more ahuga like sound. That's a lot nicer. Okay, so now we want to turn one more quarter. Is that a full quarter? Well, I guess we'll see. Let's quickly go back out again and see if we're standing in the middle between the two now. You're walking a lot faster than a baby elephant. <laughs> what? <laughs> what do you mean, baby elephant? if this did anything in the old version actually I expected this uh, playing in both versions simultaneously to be a little less annoying than it actually turns out being oh yeah this one at least was right All right. So now there is none here. So we need to turn two. So 180 degrees now, because on that side there is no other one. Um, uh, okay, let's go in here and go up. Is that still the same one? Yeah. Okay, so we didn't actually turn. That's annoying. Okay. 
Let's go on the old version. Uh. Because I've seen these symbols, so of course, uh, at the spot where we arrived, we probably have to enter them into that machine. Wait, uh, I'm going back again. I'm an idiot. Doop de doo. Okay, and now here. This should be two half turns. I don't know if you can hear that beeping, but uh, it's over there in the, the, the iPad is happily beeping. <laughs> I wish there was an indicator of how long to hold it, though. That sounded promising. Let's see if that was enough. Or I might just... Uh, solve this off stream otherwise and just continue playing with the regular isn't that the song you were humming baby elephant walk oh I don't know I thought it was baby ducks but it could be elephants as well uh, totally possible yeah do 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 but so uh, I like what they did with this puzzle, that they made it more obvious. Okay, now, oh. what I don't like is that when you're locked into these interaction spots, that the photo album and the menu can't come up. They, that, that, that's something that should be fixed. Okay, so plus plus were on the right, but triangle and plus is on the left. Triangle and plus, okay. Whoa. Okay, that, okay, that's a missed linking book. That's interesting, That that is also new. Usually the mist books were always the white ones with black edges, and now they have a picture of the library on it, basically. Okay, yeah. I mean, you know, it's it's okay, it works. Um, all right, let's see where we are here. Whether we've turned. If we haven't turned, then I'll just leave this, but if we've turned... Yeah, that looks like it's the new one. All right. Screenshot. And then I guess we turn and run back all the way. All the way, all the way, all the way. And try to write this place again to our starting position. And I guess we can go back. What 
Oops, what happened? Ah, that was what happened. I didn't touch it right, I guess. All right. All right, let's hope that that was long enough to bring us back two quarters and not just one. Huh, interesting. Okay, so they've removed basically the inventory. Like, as you see in the old game, you had that page. Um, that's actually something that the mobile version does slightly differently from the original. In the original, um, I think you had to either just move your mouse or at least move your mouse towards the bottom of the screen or something. And then in like a black like letterbox that existed anyway, that red page that you had with you popped up. Um, and so here it's kind of always half transparent over the picture. Okay, we apparently only did a quarter turn. Okay, so anyway, we can do this. Do do do. At least you can see when I tap now. It's not just, um, oh, something triggers or something in the in the uh, old version. <laughs> of course, you can also see all my horrific fingerprints. And you can see the iPad slowly sliding off here. Boom. I kind of expect that beep 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 to result in a boom. Okay, I hope that was long enough. Let's hope. Again, I'm not going to do too much on the old one, but I just want to keep it halfway in sync. Yeah, okay. This was enough of a turn. So uh, I think I can just peek on the solution. Yeah. So this. this, this, and this. All right. That's working, I seem. And now, yeah, you see, like, it actually says mist on it. Okay, that's, uh, so that's the slight difference, but it's basically, um, yeah, that, that white book with the black corners. So that's how they changed it. Yeah, and you have to tap, otherwise it looks at the ceiling, which they've also removed here, I think. I don't think we looked at the ceiling when we came in. Oh, and the ceiling looks different. Can I? Yeah. You see it like, okay, you see the light? No, I guess it's the same ceiling. Okay. Yeah, I just saw like the light from the chandelier from below. Kind of what we see in the original game is kind of this. So you can see they, they redecorated the chandelier. Okay. 
So now we have a red page and I already put it into the red book. So let's see what he has to say. That's a bit, um, I guess it was like that in the original already, but actually I think if I had, um, if I had been redone, redoing these anyway, I probably would have tried to also redo um, a little bit of the text. Because like bring the red page to me is kind of, you know the game telling you but there's many red pages he says you know bring me all the red pages so i don't know but maybe it's also you know like you're speaking into static so you're trying to get the most important words out and then bring the red page you know like in the hopes that with fewer shorter words maybe you will be understood All right, let's see that. Uh, I'm not sure you will probably not hear that well. Uh, I guess I can pump up the volume a little bit. Oh, that sounds like pumped up volume. I gotta say the I the video versions of these I think work much better than the CGI versions. There's just more you know, there's more pathos in them and the faces are just more expressive. 
He means bring the red page to me. Yeah, maybe that. Okay, so the thing is, uh, we haven't explored everything yet. <clears throat> so let's go back there. I think I'm going to uh, stick with um, uh, the modern game for now and ignore the old one. So there seem to be a lot. There is a lot more actually. I mean, I know it already. Be, maybe we should go with the old game after all. Oh, now you can you can see the animation actually. So let's switch the old game in this is not really in focus i think I... no i i don't think i can bring it into focus more <laughs> yeah so this is how this camera flight happens in the original when you so, so you get it as an introduction into the level so let's go into this uh, we can actually go down here because both rooms are in uh, like this is where the entrance is so now here is the same spot rotation simulator oh, okay that's the hint we would have got Guess Ah That's what I did wrong, I guess. I mean with the gear you didn't really need it. But like to to hit and, and and hear which spot you hit, you can actually. That's what the left le lever is for. And I didn't understand that when I when I did it. Okay, and I guess this is the secret room. Yes. Ooh, that doesn't look too nice. page um okay he has an electrified cage in here Oh, that looks like a monkey head, and we know that the that the people um, 
that the people in Channelwood were monkey people. So that's not nice. Because we know that those were really, really nice people. Alright, so we found his page. What is this? Um, that's not nice either. I take it that's not a real snake. But still, not a nice prank. And lots of weapons. Oh, there's another monkey head. That doesn't look good. All right, let's see how this looks over here. Um, ah, this, no. Ah, here it is. Oh, I can't use that right now. Okay. This rotation simulator is actually a lot more fancy than the one we get here. Or I guess it's just that it's now more... It's all symbolic holograms, whereas with the... With the original one, all the holograms are, you know, regular stuff. Okay, here. That's where we can go in. Let's see how that spot looks. Picture quality is not really that super anymore because the light has changed. Um, but yeah, how does it look? Basically looks the same. Okay, the switch. Interesting how they electrify it. Like it's much less obvious, but there's the sound. Um... And, of course, the switch for the electrics is on the, um, uh, is not on the side, but actually on the cage. Yeah, you can barely see it, but it's also there that there's a head in there. Alright, we've got the blue page. Uh, where's the exit? Hello? Here. And there is another head right up there so yeah no more mr. nice guy all right let's go back and do the same here I'm so glad there isn't like a conflict where you have to do the rotation um, again to get in and out. Oh. 
to rescue me. I'm happy now. Don't be my brother, I beg you. Maybe you can bleed. Don't. Always will cages. Listen to him. <laughs> Listen to my brother. Egotistical fool and a liar. Help me. Bring me the blue pig. Ignore the red ones. Don't bring the red ones. <laughs> Earnestly implore you. Wrongfully imprisoned. You must believe me. We'll have my retribution. Please bring me the blue pages. Pages, please. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that we see a reflection in the iPad. Yeah, yeah. How's the new mist feeling? It's it looks great. It's um, I had a bit of an issue because my capture card uh, doesn't want to do so. I had to now switch to using the webcam, and it's kind of uh, well, um, the picture quality could be better, um, but it sort of works. Um, the, my main, uh, issue with, the uh, with the, um, new mist is they've done a bunch of changes. Like the, the old mist looked fancy. For example, this fireplace, um, if you look at the version in the old game in the corner, um, the old version looks it's it's much nicer brick and and you know like the the gaps between the bricks where the mortar is the the is it called mortar yeah i think so um look nicer and it looks like you know just some cozy fireplace whereas this thing in the new version looks a bit weird and you know that extra gate makes it look um you know like locked and things and you can guess why they they redesigned a lot of stuff for vr so of course they needed something you couldn't just crouch and go in there like in the old game where you just clicked on it and you were in there you know that doesn't really work in vr um or is you know inconvenient at least Whereas uh, here they put the switch and then you can like walk in at full height. So they kind of had to give you a reason to kind of open it up more. I understand that. And then this brick looks like a a beginner had uh, lain it and things like that. Um, so um, a lot of it looks less pretty and this bookshelf looks really weird. If you compare that to the real version, um, or to the original version, I have to say, it's kind of weird. Why is it such a tiny? Why is it such tiny boxes in su in such a large bookshelf and things like that? So, um, but in general, it's it's really pretty and it's much nicer and it's much more convenient to play. And of course, they replaced the full motion video. Uh, which you might have just saw, seen as you came in, um, with these CGI characters. And, I mean, I can understand that. Um, you know, it's kind of easier than getting the original creators to come in every time, and they've gotten older as well, so they wouldn't look like their characters. And now that you have them as CGI, it's different. But I think that's the part that will age the worst in this game and you know if you compare what you just saw to this oh and let me give you louder audio Blue 
ages. Never and ever. Ages. Oh, and I didn't even... That's the old message that we already saw. Sorry. So yeah, um, it's, uh, I don't know, I find the, the real full motion video actually more dramatic. I understand that, you know, they couldn't, like in, in Real Mist, for instance, they had these very same movies. And for these scenes it works because, you know, they're static and things like that. So, you know, the quality doesn't have to be very good for most of the scenes they're in. Um, but, um, you know, they look kind of dated and you could tell that they were like, the original recordings were probably 240 pixels or something. Um, so yeah. Um, but otherwise it's a, like the remaster is gorgeous. It's It's just some of the design updates um, you know, I would have been happy if they had just left them. Others are okay, like these boxes looking fancier and things like that. For example, this looks... I don't know, weird. Like, I like the, the old steampunk dials and, and, uh... Uh, uh, what do you call it? Flywheels, these big, turny wheels um, that you use like to open a valve, or something. Yeah. Anyway. Um, but still, it's uh, yeah, it's a good game. And I mean, it all looks absolutely gorgeous. And uh, okay, that doesn't work. Suspicious cable, follow suspicious cable. Hmm. Oh, I guess we need to look up the solution for that one as well in the in the tower. Yeah, um, and you know, like some updates, like how they did this map, um, are really nice, so I love that. Oh, and now what? We haven't done this one yet. 
so. So let's push this button. And it's actually a little more awkward to play on PC now because before you could just click in the middle of this painting and go through and now you have to pull this handle, which, I mean, it's good for VR to have that affordance. But, yeah, it's still not kind of... Okay, I originally thought, oh yeah, I can open that spaceship. But since we can't, I'm not sure if it's actually worth... doing much. Oh, maybe I can show you, because then we've... The, the one important change that I'm aware of. So here. Ah, okay, we've locked onto that one. Not quite the one I intended to. I thought that would be the one, okay. Let's make a photo of that, go back down. And I mean, I can do that off screen in, off stream in the old game because you've already seen how these in general looked in the old version. And there's not that much difference. All right, so let's see. No, it's actually yeah, pointing on this. So let's let's show you this one. <laughs> now you can see my reflection again. All right. Um So let's go over there because I as I said, I've played this before, I remember the puzzle. So here's a fancy thing. There's a tree that is kind of walled in, but that's sticking out of a hole. And there is this spot, which is where we just pointed our beam. And there is a very interesting spot here. So let's go to a photo album because I've already forgotten what the number was. 776 is the number. Seven, seven, six. And this is different, by the way. Oh, I should, I guess I should have shown you that. Well, okay, let's go to the old, uh, this button. Let's go back to the old version. Of course, it doesn't focus at all right now. So this is very fuzzy. I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. Um, okay. Open that door. Maybe give you some audio back. Um, all right. Oh, no, we've switched it already. All right. Apparently here I forgot to switch on the one out here though. Whoops. Okay, I don't think I changed anything. All right, let's go up there. Look up the number here. Because, uh, 
Yeah, because uh, this little room with the safe in it will look different. And again, I can see why they did it. So, so this is a good update, that you don't have to go up there every time for the solution. 724 is the number in this case. In retrospect, I should have used the non-randomized version just so I don't have to do everything twice, so that I can just use the hint from the new version in the old version. But hey, it could be worse. <laughs> Hello. Okay. And now... Let's go back out. So we're in the same spot. This is actually something... I think the next time I do this, I get myself someone... <laughs> I invite myself a friend, you know, so that, uh, you know, they can just switch, um, All right now I can turn. to go this way. Oh, let's go ahead and switch that switch on first. And here, this is how that looked in the original, the, the switchy thing. Um, for the clock tower. So, okay. So here... Uh, and here the safe is behind us, so they trickily hid it, so you only see it when you give up and go out, go outside. Uh, yeah, I forgot the number already, but since this is not randomized, I can see... Wait, where is it? 724, okay. That's actually interesting. This is specific to the mobile version as well. In the original, um, the numbers didn't pop out like that, but of course for the mobile version, that kind of makes sense. Because like around your hand, it's hard to see these numbers. All right, and here you see it's different. You get a box of matches. <laughs> I really need to find a good spot to put that if I really do the webcam thing. Um, okay, so you grab the box of matches. You can take a match out. And again, like the page, that kind of gets added to your inventory. And that's probably the reason why in the new game this is this ignite switch because um, um, you know uh, first you know like bending down here to turn on the fire is um, kind of Okay, um, you know, would be awkward in VR, and second, that way you have no inventory. All right, and now... Let me 
turn this on. And this keeps pumping. And now let's see what we did. Okay. We got this cool tree to grow taller, apparently. Oh, and there's a door. Let's hop in. That's actually a bit of a mistake. But, um... Yeah, you recall you were worried you would burn down this tree for some reason. <laughs> Volunteer button pusher minion. <laughs> yeah. It's okay, now it's pumped us up and we have a nice view. We can see the clouds and the mist rolling in. I'm not sure if this comes out on stream. It's very subtle here on my display. But um, I can actually see like fog clouds coming in and things like that. So it's really very misty. shoots up again so we've not quite solved it didn't you fall off this tree once I don't think you can fall off the tree in in this um, well I guess I can I can leave this now um, maybe I'll hide the old game for now because really, ooh, the frame rate in stream doesn't look good right now. It's actually really smooth for me. I don't know why it's not smooth on stream. Anyway, so tree is all the way up. And now comes my least favorite part, so to say, of this game. Because now we have to be fast. Now we've turned off the power, and then we can go back down there. And then we're stuck in this because we turned off the power. I mean, in real life, this is something you would never do. Like, you don't know, you know, if you'd be stuck down here. Like, how would you even get out? And this is now very different from the original, and that is why... I actually need to do this on the old game as well. Ah, and I've already turned off the camera. So let's turn the camera back on. Um, go down here. Um, how does that work? I don't actually know. Damn it. Does anyone know? <laughs> oh, right. I remember now. That's what I forgot. You actually have to strike the match. Okay, and now we have fire. That might have been a little small now, but... Uh, here, um, you can see the fire at the bottom. Here. Can I actually point at something now? Ooh. Okay, now let's. Hello?
Okay, I think it's now fully on. I also like, by the way, the painting that they have in the back here. Um, you have that, had that in the new version as well, of course. Um, right, so let's see if we can do this timing-wise. Um, no, not this. Uh. Ah, okay. The door is already up there. So we weren't fast enough to actually get in there, but you can actually supposedly go in the tree like we did in the new version, also in the old version. All right. is really interesting because uh, like they don't have animation to make it this big you know and so this is all how it looked originally so you had these tree trunks and a tree stump and the linking book that leads to the next place. Whereas here, they've actually gone and made that bigger. So you see that wheel is here as well. That's to let you out again. Um, but then they've put these walkways in. And I like that. That's a really good idea because it kind of foreshadows and kind of reminds you, okay, this is that place that we'll be going to. Like, if you know the age we'll be going to, then this will exactly remind you of that. And I like that. It's it's a lot fancier than it was. Like the place with all the trees. Should probably mute the old audio though. So you can actually hear the new one. Oh, and I should probably switch that one to big again. <laughs> Sorry about that. But anyway, I mean, this looks, you know, gorgeous. It's a nice compromise between, oh, we're in a cave underground, but also this leads to channel wood as it's known ah okay they made the b way to the book a mnemonic yeah basically I mean it already was you know you went through a tree to get to the tree age so I guess it works you know um, but uh, you know could be worse uh, no, not could be worse. I mean, just, you know. It's, uh... It's a nice choice that this room down here isn't just like a tiny compartment for a book. Although, you know, like, I don't know if it makes sense in-universe. You know, it's a nice way to make you anticipate the next level and kind of give it a build up. But like then, like, why would you build it like this? Why would you put these water pipes here and things like that? Like it kind of feels a little facetious, I guess. Um, 
but you know, it's pretty. I'm not really complaining. Um, okay, and uh, I think that's where we will... Huh, it's interesting. Um, if you saw that, when we approach the book, you see it's black. And then as you come closer, it fades in with the, with the movie. You can actually see the performance optimizations. Um, but anyway, um, that's it. Oh, sorry. Um, that's it for today. Um, I hope you've had fun. Oh, an hour ago. I'm sorry, room 215. I missed the stretch. Uh, oh, I've been really bad at paying attention to chat today, I think. Um, all right. Anyway, um, that's it for today. Um, I've had some fun being dis uh, distracted by this game. We are going to continue playing. Um, I'm not sure if I'll keep doing this dual game setup just because it's a bit awkward. But I think for this first one, it's already pretty nice. I might go and, uh, you know, um, occasionally make a quick, uh, quickly check whether, you know, something that I don't remember being like that um, is different. Um, we'll see. I'll, I'll see if I can get a, a proper setup uh, that works better and is more reliable than the capture device, then uh, maybe I'll do that. Um, comparison was pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, if it's like the, the... I think the idea is really nice and I actually think we should do that with more games. Especially games so different. Where it's like this is a full 3D game with 360 degrees of freedom look up, down, anywhere you want, walk where you want. And this is a game that just, um, you know, uh, has a slideshow with some animated elements. Anyway, thank you for being here. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I've enjoyed playing this so far. Um, hopefully see you next Sunday same time same channel for those of you wondering um, Sam and Max um, is on a break right now until we finished Mist, and uh, then we can always uh, go back uh, uh, and you know then we will continue with part 3 of Sam and Max episode 3 of the 5 season um, game um, if you want to refresh your memory, uh, you will be able to do that. Um, Max is timed out because he was naughty again, right? Yes. I, I wasn't supposed to say it, but now that you mention it, yes, that's always why. Um, anyway, yeah. Um, so if you want to refresh your memory when we restart, uh, you can go and... Uh, check out my YouTube, which should be linked from underneath. Um, anyway, yeah, so... Yeah, that's basically it. Um, uh, there you can see um, all the old episodes that we've played so far. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, of course, that means also you can check out Sam and Max, and who knows, by the time uh, you watch this on YouTube, uh, all the Sam and Max stuff might be complete, or you might have actually already watched it. Who knows? Um, so, um, but just, it's an option to watch it. I think the latest Sam and Max episode should also still be on Twitch for a while as a VOD. Um, uh, we shall see. Anyway, thank you for being here, and uh, Max, such an adorable rabbity thing. Adorable, monstrous. What's the difference? Exactly, yes. Um, that's what I say. Um, 
So have a great rest of your weekend and have a great next week. Um, and then see you hopefully in a week. Oh, I, um, I will be traveling at the end. No, that's the end of next week. So there might be a gap. I'm not yet sure. Um, or it might be that I have to improvise a streaming setup and I'm not sure if internet where I am will be good enough to stream anything, not to mention whether I'll be able to take along a computer that can actually run this, this game. We will have to see. Um, so keep that in mind. There might be one week gap um, but then we'll be back. Um, but next uh, Sunday should still be fine. See you then. Bye-bye.